Lesson 1.1, Even and Odd Numbers. A pair is a set of two, like a pair of socks or a pair of shoes or mittens or a pair of earrings. There's two. We can make pairs of gems. These are my gems. We can make pairs of gems to see if a number is even or odd. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six gems, and they make, here's a pair, here's a pair, and here's a pair. It's a set of two, a set of two, and a set of two. We make three pairs. So six is an even number. Now we have five gems, and we have a pair, another pair, that's two pairs, and we have one left over. We have one extra that cannot make a pair. So five is an odd number. When all of the counters can make pairs, it's an even number. When there's one left over, it's an odd number. We need to find, is 13 an even or odd number? And 13 is more than 10, so we're going to need two 10 frames. And we count out 13 gems and place them in the 10 frames to make pairs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen gems. And we're going to fill the ten frame up here with ten of them, and then fill this ten frame with what is left over after ten. Do you know how much that would be? Now I filled one of the ten frames, and I do the next one. Each of these made a pair. Then we have a pair here, and look, we have one left over. We have one extra. Because this one didn't make a pair, we had one extra. 13 is an odd number. When a counter is left over, the number is an odd number. If we can make pairs with none left over, the number is even. An eight is an even number. We have eight orange squares. We've made four pairs. There's none left over. If we make pairs and one is left over, the number is odd. That means seven is an odd number. We have seven yellow hexagons. We were able to make pairs with these, but we have one left over, so seven is an odd number. We can see a pattern of even and odd with counting numbers. One is odd. We can't make a pair. Two is even. We do have a pair. Three is odd. Four is even. Do you see what's happening? Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So we know nine must be odd. And we can make pairs. And we've proven that it's odd because there's one left over. When we skip count by twos, all the numbers are even. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. And the numbers that we skipped are all odd. We skipped one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, and we could keep going. And do you see what's happening here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're counting and going between the odd and even numbers. Do you know what the next even number would be? If you said 18, you're right. For two-digit numbers and greater, two-digit numbers are numbers that have two digits, like 16. If there is an even number in the ones place, the number is even. So this is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. Let's take a closer look. This is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. So if there's an even number in this ones place, the number is even. And 6 is an even number, so 16 
is an even number. Here we have 34. There's a 4 in the ones place, and 4 is an even number. So 34 is an even number. Here we have 172. That's 107 tens and two ones. 2 in the ones place is an even number. So 172 is an even number. We know a number is even by the number in the ones place. And we'll talk more about the meaning of place values in video 1.3. If there is an odd number in the ones place, the number is odd. This is 11. It's 110 and 11. And 1 is an odd number, so 11 is an odd number. Here we have 43. We have four tens and three ones. The 3 in the ones place is an odd number, so 43 is an odd number. 185, we have 100, 8 tens, and 5 ones. 5 is an odd number, so 185 is an odd number. It doesn't matter if one of the other numbers is even, like this 4 in the tens place is an even number. doesn't matter. We go by the ones place. And the 3 is an odd number, so 43 is an odd number. So remember that we can make pairs with counters, and if one is left over, the number is an odd number. And remember that when we skip count by twos, all the numbers are even. We're going to talk about representing even numbers, and we're going to use some more counters in Lesson 1.2. I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.